At the keynote of CES 2016, Segway Robotics first showcased a prototype of the Segway robot, aka Lumo. The Segway robot is, at this stage, an open platform project where we invite software engineers and hardware engineers and designers to contribute their talents in making everyone's dream robot. The open platform includes the hardware and a software development kit. This allows developers to access six amazing skills of the robot. Vision, speech, locomotion, connectivity, interaction, and hardware extension bay. Now, everyone can build applications to bring alive their dream robots. From thousands of applications, a handful of developer partners were chosen to participate in the Alpha Developer Program. We think the developers have the best knowledge of applying robotic technologies to different scenarios. This is how everything started. Now, having taken the crucial step from prototype to an alpha developer edition, the team is getting ready to deliver the robots to their first developer customers. We are 72 hours away, but I think we'll be ready by Monday. I think the team stayed up till breakfast. Well, we're debugging all the way from the day before yesterday until this afternoon. And I think we're now ready. Perfect. I'm really, really proud of the team. What they have done in the past one and a half year is really, really hard work. First stop, the MIT Smart Innovation Center. We're very interested in the Segway robot because it represents a versatile platform that developers can experiment with. In an effort to solve issues related to healthcare and elderly care, MIT looks to use Lumo as their robotic platform for their yearly hackathon. We think the, the Segway Robotics platform can provide a level of companionship for an elderly person, but at the same time be able to assess their health conditions by observing them. Nice. Next stop, BMW in Germany. BMW is a renowned innovator. Based on Lumo, they are developing a parking assistant to go with their autonomous driving cars. We want to find out if and how personal robots can help making mobility effortless and more convenient to our customers. This is like Christmas. <laughs> I'm loving it. Like, this is the simplicity, how you can control the robot, and I love the design. It's great. Mm. To which we connect, right? Mm. It has its own IP address. <laughs> As robotics and autonomous cars continue to evolve, fiction soon turns into fact. Wow! It looks like they had fun. Next stop, San Francisco. Synonymous with creativity and innovation, Silicon Valley hosts some of the most prominent pioneers in the tech industry. Intel has been a key partner since the inception of the project. The last stop, Santa Clara, has special meaning to Segway Robotics. Hello, Sarah. How are you? Great to you. I think it's profound. We have all been used to Segways, but now you see Segway that can sense and understand the world and navigate by itself. It can follow you around, it can take your pictures. It's been a quite an impressive journey. Now it's all yours. It shows the promise of how the robotics is going to be revolutionized. It's quite amazing to see it work. Okay, Lumo. Follow me. That's pretty good. This is working pretty well. 
As the alpha development continues, the Segway robot evolves. Additional hardware would be a projector. Yeah, potentially. That's what we're thinking right now. Developers have endless possibilities to realize their imagination. There's actually a saying that says the best way to predict future is to invent it. And we think we can use the Segway robot to do that. For robotics to really uh, advance, uh, there has to be a common platform that developers can can convene and work around. And I think the, the Segway robotics platform provides that very nicely. I think they're making a fundamental contribution to the world of robotics to bring the technology to, to life. They've done a fabulous job.